Well, it's not for me to say. I mean, Joshua beat me like what two fights ago, and I'm, I'm still fighting. So. This is Jonathan Anger of Viv, Viv Pro Boxing fans, joined by Otto Wallin. Otto, uh, it's been a crazy few days in, in the heavyweight division, which uh, keeps changing. Uh, let's go straight into it. Uh, Wembley Stadium Saturday night, Daniel Dubois knocking out Anthony Joshua. Uh, what was your reaction when, when you were watching that fight? Uh, it was a big shock, to be honest. He just looked like... Dubai just came out swinging and not swinging, but he just came out, came after him aggressively. And really, I felt like he caught Joshua off guard. He wasn't, I think that they probably expected him to be easier to hit than he was. And Dubai, he just really brought it. He did a, a really good job from the first spell, to be honest. Mm. When, uh, you know, Joshua came came out kind of with his, with his hands down and, you know, do, do you think... Were you surprised with the way he sort of approached the fight? I was. I was. I, I think I think it's a mix of things. It, it looked strange to me that he kept his hands that low, especially against a guy like Dubois that punches hard like that. But also he had his chin up, which was uh which was a bit strange. But uh like I said, I just think that Dubois really caught him off guard and just took him out of his game and whatever they had worked on didn't really, he never let Joshua in the fight from the first bell. And, you know, he, he heard him early on and he just kept going like that. I, it looked like Joshua was hurt the whole fight, really. Mm. Now in the, the fifth round, which turned out to be the last round, Joshua uh, connected with a right hand, looked like Dubois was maybe a bit buzzed and Joshua went for the finish. Did you think that was? Uh, I know it's easy to say now that the fight's done, but was it, should he have? You know, in hindsight, was it like did he rush it a bit too much? Like, talk talk us through the the finish from like a fighter's perspective. Right, it's hard to you know. It's easy to say now yeah. that he should have done differently, but but he yeah, he looked like he bust him a little bit, connected. Uh, but to me, in this fight, it seemed like Joshua. He didn't set things up like I'm sure they worked on because it seems like Ben is a smart trainer and he, he talks a lot about setting shots up and that. So I'm sure they did that. It's kind of just felt like Joshua never got into it. He never got, had the chance to get into it. And Duba, he did such a good job uh, in the fight that it was just really tough for Joshua. I know there was, a, there was one time in the first round that Joshua tried to throw his uh, right hand and it looked kind of weird because he came over the top a little bit and it was uncomfortable. You could tell it was uncomfortable for him. I, I I thought when I saw it that they would, they probably worked on that a lot, kind of like how he knocked out Ngannou. And I believe that they thought that they thought that that was going to work again. But he, it was really hard to hit the ball, obviously. And then uh, with, with the finish, yeah, I think he bust him. Uh, and like you say, it's easy to say now that he should have, we should have kept his cool better. Uh, it's just, uh, it's it's hard, man. I mean, like, yeah, it's easy to say now that he should have done differently, but yeah. maybe he could have set it up, you know, the following shots a bit better. But it's also probably hard. I never fought in front of like a hundred thousand people, so it's easy to sit on the sideline and tell somebody what to do. Mm. Is there an element that, you know, as a fighter, when you're in there and maybe things aren't going your way, that you just kind of switch up the game plan from what, like, as Mike Tyson said, the famous quote, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. Like, have you ever been in a fight where you didn't listen to your trainer's instruction because you, you wanted to go for broke? Or, like, how does it work in when you're in the fight? I don't know if I have done that, but... You always adjust, and I think I think with my trainer Joey that he's always open, and he's watching and seeing what he trusts me. So he sees, okay, I told him this, he didn't do it, so it might not be there. So I shouldn't I shouldn't keep pushing that. So every fight is different, every style is different. Um, I think I think what happens though is that if you go, if you go and train with somebody, you work 
you work on certain things, maybe new things. Then when you get into a tough fight like, tough fight like that and you start getting hit, you kind of go back to your old self. Mm. And that happens um, That happens a lot. And, uh, you know, it kind of looked like that a little bit, but uh, it's, it's hard to say. I think just uh, that Dubois gave him a really tough time. Yeah. Now, since the fight, uh, a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people have said Joshua should sort of call it a day after that. Uh, what what's your take on it? Is that just kind of like a knee jerk reaction to this, or uh, you know, what what do you think Joshua should do from here? Uh well, it's not for me to say. I mean, Joshua beat me like what two fights ago, and I'm I'm still fighting. So who am I to tell him to retire? You know, so it's up to him. If he wants to keep fighting, he should. Uh, but he he's uh, he's made a he's had a great career, and he uh, I hope he doesn't take this loss too hard. Mm. Mentioning your fight, because you know I've been hearing uh, the last few days since since the the fight, people kind of discrediting his win over uh, you, particularly in Garnu. Uh, have you heard these comments? And if so, uh, do you find it disrespectful that people are now kind of say kind of saying, well, you know, be Otto Wallen, but people forgetting that you gave Fury one of his toughest fights, kind of thing. Right. Uh, I haven't heard it now, but I see it in the comments every once in a while. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Styles makes fights in boxing. And uh, people asked me before this fight, uh, Joshua Dubai, they said, who will win between Fury and Joshua since you fought both? And I would say that Joshua gave me a much tougher fight than Fury did. Uh, so, but that doesn't mean that Joshua will beat Fury, I said. Uh, it's still, I think that's a close fight. It could go either way. Um, you know, after after watching this fight, it's different. But I just think that Dubois he is very powerful, and it seemed like uh, when Joshua fights a big puncher like that, it's not as easy. You know, Joshua he uh, he uh, he's a strong guy, of course himself. So uh, when he meets somebody stronger than him, it might be tough. And I guess is there also an argument that everyone can have an off night, you know, like when you fought Joshua, you know, I'm sure that wasn't how you felt you could have performed that night. Is there a case of like, sometimes fighters just have a bad night at the office? Yeah, they can, they can. Uh, I think, I mean, some people like to make excuses and not, but uh, I don't know. It could be, but could also just be that Daniel was better, but doesn't mean that Joshua can't come back and win the rematch. He can probably adjust, uh, maybe do things a little bit better uh, now when they've been in with each other. Or he has go the same way. You know, mm. we see what happens, really. Judging of that, and uh, like you said, stars make fights, but how would Dubois do against Fury and in a rematch with Usyk, in your opinion? It's hard to say. I mean, he, he got stopped by uh, Usyk last time. Uh, it's been what one and a half years, maybe, since they fought. Uh, could it be different? Maybe. I think the I think the issue there is that that Usyk is really hard to hit clean, and he was hitting Joshua with almost everything. Mm -hmm. And so I think I think when he fights Usyk, it's a bit harder. But uh, of course, he, he can win. He always stands a chance. But still, I mean, I will have to pick Usyk just uh, for now. Yeah. Um, and and same same with Fury also. He's a very good boxer. He's awkward, and can also be hard to hit. But uh, you know, it's not a foregone conclusion. So it's all uh, good fights, I think. And uh, moving to yourself, uh, you came back uh, with a great knockout. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen it, uh, go watch it back. It was a like a one of showreel knockouts. What did you make of uh, your performance? It was good. It was only what forty eight seconds, I think. So it was yeah. it was quick, but it was a good for me, a good fight for me at that time. Just come back, get a win, and now hopefully get something bigger. We're trying to uh, explore my options and uh, and hopefully I get some good offers. Now there was a lot of heavyweights uh, at Wembley on Saturday: uh, Jerome Miller, Dillian White, Caballel, Joyce. Uh, have you Chazor as well? Have you had any talks that you know of with any of those guys? 
No, no, but I'm really, I'm open to fight, you know. I'm, I'm ready to fight. I want to fight and I want to be on this big show. So that's what I'm working for. I'm working uh, very hard and just trying to improve and get better. The last time we spoke, uh, you said Dillian White is the guy you want. Uh, is that still the case? And do you think that fight can happen? Uh, I would hope so. I would love to fight him. And especially since we, we were going to fight a few years ago, but it never happened. But uh, I would love to fight him. I think he's a perfect fight for me at this time. Mm. Uh, there's a big fight, uh, the rematch between Usyk and Fury coming up uh, in December. Do you think you can get on that card maybe? I would love to. I would love to get on that card. Mm. That that would be that would be great. You know, another big card like that over in Saudi. Uh that would be fantastic. Mm. Brilliant. Well, also, uh wish you all the all the best. Hopefully, uh you definitely think you'll be back in the ring before the end of the year for sure. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I really want to. And I hopefully hopefully that would be the case. Yeah. Well, all the best also. Hope to see you back in the ring and uh, appreciate uh, your time talking to Pro Boxing fans. Sounds good. Thank you.